Lindenus Copa versus Diana Yastremska. It's the third quarterfinal for the Ladies Australian Open for 2023. And both players were not expected to come to this stage. Yastremska entered the tournament as a qualifier and would take on the number seven seed, Von Drusova. But after winning the first set easily, she would go on to destroy the Wimbledon champion, 6-1, 6-2. In the second round, she'd take on Gracheva and again would win easily, 6-3, 6-2. In the third round, she'd take on the 27th seed, Navarro. And after dropping the second set, would run away with the third, 6-2, 2-6, 6-1. In the fourth round, she'd take on the 18th seed, Azarenka. And after a very close first set, she would fight back to win in the second, 7-6, 6-4, to make it to the quarterfinals. Buscova entered the tournament, unseeded, and would take on the 31st seed, Buscova, in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights, 6-1, 7-5. In the second round, she'd take on the wildcard, Kessler. And after dropping the second set, would fight back to win 6 3 1 6 6 4. The third round, she'd take on the world number one, Ikish Fiontek, who had just battled past Daniel Collins. And after dropping the first set, Ms. Cobra would serve her way out of it 3 6 6 3 6 4. In the fourth round, she'd take on the number 19 seed, Svetolina. And after a three love lead, Svetolina would be forced to retire with injury, allowing Ms. Cobra to her first Grand Slam quarterfinal. These two have never actually played before, and that's because. Noskova is very new to the tour and has only been around the last couple of years. And Yastremska, her best years have sort of before Noskova came onto the tour. So this is the first time we're going to see these two in action against each other. If Yastremska is going to win this one, she needs to keep that energy up. She also needs to kind of, I guess, push Noskova around. She kind of got a little lucky against Azarenka. Azarenka didn't play super great in that last match and Azarenka gave a lot of leads away. If Noskova is going to win, she needs to serve well. She served so well against Iga Sviantek in that third round. She needs to do that again if she's going to be any chance of beating this player and making it to the semi-final. What a random matchup. Who would have thought this at the start of the week was going to be a quarterfinal, especially with Sviantek around? I'm going to go with Noskova to win. I just think that it's time for someone young to get to a semi-final. She's been really good the last year or so, or at least she's been around the last year or so, and she was such a good junior. It'd be cool to see a new face making a semi, but let me know down in the comments below who's going to win.